On many computers, you can set the SATA operation to be either AHCI or RAID. RAID is also known as uh, RST. However, on this ASUS 11 Gen system, this is an ASUS X415, also known as the ASUS A416, I did not find a SATA mode operation option in the setup menu in the UEFI BIOS. As you can see under advanced, there is no POH storage controller option or whatever ASUS calls it on, uh, on, on other systems. So it's not here. Except it is, but it's under a different name. It's actually under VMD setup menu. So by enabling or disabling Intel's VMD controller, you are switching between HCI and RAID. So if you disable the VMD controller, you are effectively setting the SATA operation to HCI. And if you set the VMD controller to be enabled, you are setting the SATA configuration to RAID. Uh, I wish there was some blurb to tell people like myself this uh, instead of having to do two hours of research. The reason how I managed to discover upon this 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 uh, this 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 confusion, this um, abomination, maybe I say, is I was installing, I was trying to install Windows and the, the there was no drive detector as seen like in this image. And that's because apparently on, it's a known problem on 11 gen platforms, which this is, on with this laptop, this Asus laptop has an 11 gen i5 1135G7 processor. The RS store, RST, driver is not yet available in the operating system install installation so you need to manually load it and uh, instead of loading it you can also just switch from using the vmd to and raid to switching to using uh, ahci by disabling the vmd controller so I can so one uh, add, adding to this when the VMD controller is disabled, you get this NV NVMe configuration uh, menu. NVMe configuration menu, which just basically tells you what is installed, and if we go ahead and change, uh, oops, if we go ahead and enable VMD, uh, it will give you this prompt. It's pretty scary, switching BMD may cause the system malfunction, but I don't think it's that scary because I think this error is equivalent to an error that we get often on other laptops, which is that uh, when you try to switch, you get, uh, which is this error, which is, you know, your operating system may not boot due to the changing of operation. So I believe this is the same type, like this error is the same as this error, except this is just worded a lot more scary. Anyway, so when we enable VMD, uh, the, and then go ahead and let's just save changes, uh, save changes, okay. And we have, we do a reboot. And to set up and go into F7, you will see now that the, the NVMe configuration is no more but you do get this Intel Rapid Storage Technology menu, which is basically the same. It lists out what drive is installed. There's no really, there's no configuration really. So, yeah. So, and to prove it, so now with, uh, with VMD enabled, right? VMD is enabled. Let's go into the UEFI, this USB, which is a Windows 11 installer. I'm just gonna jump to the part where it lists the, um, the drives. But I'm not gonna cut so that you guys can see that you know I'm really am, um, I'm really am like not like not faking this. Although I do apologize for the focusing issue I'm experiencing on this camera. There we go. Um, so you can see it doesn't load any drivers. But if I go ahead and disable VMD, Come on, yeah, I need to hold on the power button to for shutdown. <laughs> yep, all right. If I go ahead and um, so let's go ahead and disable VMD, uh, advance VMD, disable. Yep, ignore the warning. 
let's save the changes okay and then boot into the into the u into the usb stick oh it just went straight into the windows operating system um, and it's meant to go to usb instead <sighs> Oh. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, that's wrong already. I selected the wrong thing. That's what happens when you view your the view the screen through the camera instead of the screen itself let's try let's try that again once more it should be the first option uefi kingston Let's just you know use the default parameters. Come on, camera. We only focus. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> and as you can see now, the drives are listed up. So yes, that is six minutes of me rambling on about VMD and how it's like the modern day uh modern day equivalent of startup mode operation and you know depending on vendors you know asus in particular they don't really inform you about this modern day um that this this change while well, like companies like dell as i showed in the very beginning of the video they they still stick with like the old pref my, my preferred um they still stick with the way of you know believing a startup mode operation well um yeah so yeah thanks for watching